everyone. So here we are um, sitting on the floor to do our project today. And I don't know about you, but for some reason, sitting on the floor is one of the easier ways for me to do crafts. So that's where we are today. Um, today for our project for November, I was inspired by some of my favorite glitter letters and numbers. Now you can buy these um, at like specialty gift stores or I've seen them at our um, little home store that's nearby. Um, they're a couple dollars each. They're made with this antique um, glitter from Germany, I think, that kind of tarnishes with age. So I don't know if you can see, but it's much more silver. And then as it's aged, it gets darker. I love these letters. Um, they're a couple of dollars. And so I, you know, affordable for a couple, but if you want to spell a, a long phrase, it can get kind of spendy. So I decided to take inspiration from that and make my own, which um, you can see here. So let's talk about how to do that. Um, I chose the word gratitude, which I think is a great word for Thanksgiving time, but you can do whatever phrase you like, be thankful or happy Thanksgiving, um, give thanks, any of those would be great. So in your monthly package, I have given you templates for each letter of the alphabet. That way you can spell out whatever you'd like to spell. If you want to just do your initial, that would be cute or a monogram. Um, or of course any phrase. So here's what you're gonna do. Print out your templates. Um, you can, and then cut them out. You can either just cut them and then use this as a pattern, um, or you can do like I did, I just printed it on heavy cardstock and that works fine. If you are gonna use this as a pattern, find some sort of um, box. So this is just an old scone box. Um, choose cardboard that's not corrugated with the little bumpy things in between the layers. Choose something that's a little bit firmer than that. So um, you'll just trace it along there and cut it out and then that will be a little bit sturdier than if you used cardstock. Um, use your recycle bin and that would be a great way to recycle. So that's one way. Um, and then of course otherwise you can just print it on paper. Um, a heavier cardstock would be best. So I'm not going to actually do this project in front of you today because we're going to use this um, a spray adhesive, which I think is the easiest way to get the glitter to stick. So you're going to take your letter, and I put it inside of a shoebox and I do it outside. Um, put it in the shoebox and you'll spray the whole thing and then you'll sprinkle on glitter. Now I have a couple of different ones. For this gratitude, I use this super fine glitter. It's from Martha Stewart Crafts. I'll put the link in the resources below, but you can use this super fine glitter or this chunkier glitter, which I think is kind of cool too. So you're just gonna spray it on the front side and add your glitter. And then you can either leave it like that with the back not done, or I like to do the backs just to have them finished. So you'll spray the front, glitter it, let it dry, spray the back, glitter it, let it dry. Once all of your letters are glittered, you're just gonna take a hole punch and you'll wanna do two punches. Um, that way your ribbon will stay flat when you thread it through. Your two punches and then choose a ribbon of your choice. I use this twine that I got at the hardware store and that looks really festive or choose a pretty um, satin ribbon. Just go through the back over the front and then back down the hole 